Oh, yeah. This is like the best part of the game here. Uh, when you get it in really bad conditions and you have a big boat like this, it's actually kind of fun to get around and walk around on deck. What happens when we get out of this? Are we actually sink? Oh, we are sinking! Oh, no! <laughs> Come on! No, no, no! No! Emergency! <laughs> Emergency door! Uh, a little forward, a little down. Come on, Komodo, you got this. You can land this. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys hey, another episode of Stormworks. And yes, folks, we are back, and today we are back in the creative mode. Now, we occasionally go into the creative mode and play around with some really awesome workshop creations. And we're going to do that here today because uh, now this beta is available to everybody. Uh, you can simply go on to Steam and click download demo and you get all of this. So I want to showcase a couple of really awesome workshop creations that I picked out. All the links will be down in the description. Be sure to go up there, download them and support the creators because there's some awesome stuff on here that I couldn't even really imagine building. But anyways, we are ready to jump in here. If you are enjoying Stormworks on the channel and want to see more of it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump right into this. All right, so we have a lot of vehicles here. Now, a couple of the things that we're going to test are actually going to test out the update itself. Uh, one of them is going to be subs because supposedly when you go underwater with a vehicle now, the water no longer comes into the cabin. So we're going to test that out. Hmm, what else are we going to test out here? I think first we're going to jump into, I downloaded a plane. Let me see where that's at. All right, so we have this air taxi. This would be something really cool to use in the game. I'm not really sure besides transporting people what you could use this for. It's obviously it's not going to be towing anything. Does it have like a cargo area? And oh, let's check this out. Uh, oh, that is too cool. All right, let's just walk up in here. Whoa. This is a really detailed plane, Han. Huh? Can we just close this? To, well, I can actually hold on to the handle. What does that do? Oh, that you can actually pull up on handles now. I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, how do I close the door? I'm sure, is it this button here? There we go. So we're going to shut the cockpit here. Sweet. So another thing that I've discovered, the whole fact that now in the career or the creative mode, you actually get missions. So uh, we can actually do the missions that we're not capable of doing in career mode because of the vehicle limitations. There's a lot of buttons here. Emergency door? What the heck? That is so cool. This is a really detailed craft. Uh, let's go up here into the cockpit and we're going to sit in here and... Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Let's, uh, let's fire this up. Engine one, engine two, switch controls. Can you actually switch the controls over to the co-pilot? That's cool. Okay, navigation lights, backlights. Oh, that's bright. Uh, landing gear, I want to keep those up. Alright, so let's fire up the engines here. Oh, it's amazing. Can I see them from here? Oh, let's tab out real quick. Wow. Oh, and ignore how silly my character looks. Uh, he's wearing a scuba helmet. Because we're probably going to end up in the bottom of the ocean. So, let's, uh, let me swap over here. There's a lot of missions that are popping up here in this mode. Uh, that's really cool to see. Uh, let me figure out controls here and see what the heck I'm doing. Uh, oh, no, 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 hold on, let's pull, okay, I gotta figure out how this works here, okay, so that's gonna push us up. Uh, I sure hope we actually get up before we get to the water here. <laughs> Are we on our nose? Oh yeah, this is how you fly a plane, folks, you didn't know that? Alright, oh, there it goes, okay, so it's pop back, alright, pull back, come on, come on, you can do this. You know, one way or another, we're gonna get in the air, we might just fall off the end of this, uh, runway here. And I don't know if this is going to work. Oh boy, this isn't going to work, is it? Come on, lift the nose. I wonder if I slammed on the brakes and maybe got back on the gas. Maybe I would actually uh, correct this. Uh, oh, we are so screwed. Actually, we're going the wrong way on the runway, too. I've probably broken several uh, aviation rules here. Um, come on, right, pull back. Pull back. <laughs> Wait a minute. This might still work. This, this might still, come on, come on, Stormworks, come on, this is a complete, all right, you know, we're gonna, yeah, we're, let's just kill it, let's just kill it, we have, uh, we've sunk our plane here, what happens when we get out of this, are we actually sink, oh, we are sinking, oh, no, <laughs> come on, no, 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 emergency, <laughs> emergency door, <laughs> oh, this thing's actually moving, I can't get out of this, oh, and I gotta pop, okay, hold on, we'll, we'll use this door, uh, let's see, bloop, where is it, where is it, 
Oh, there we go. Get out of here. Oh, it's so neat now that you can see the bottom of the ocean. And, uh, yep, we've sunk our plane. So now we have a, a plane sinking simulator. Or plane crash simulator. That was cool. Uh, I want to do that again, except for I want to actually get up in the air. All right, here we go. We are going to try to get back up in the air. One thing I did figure out, I actually wasn't going the wrong way on the runway. Uh, this is the only one. I thought it actually stretched across. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 Uh, I can't figure out how to get this thing to not do that. Uh, <laughs> all right. Maybe uh, I'm just not cut out for flight. Maybe it's helicopters that I'm cut out for. On. I'm not giving up on this yet. Uh, let's go ahead. Lift up. Lift up. Come on. <laughs> uh, okay. We're going to treat this like a boat. We're going to treat this like a boat. We're going to get up in the air. Okay, don't sink it. Don't sink it. Don't. Right, let's get in the cockpit here. Come on. Come on. Get off the ground. Or the water. <laughs> uh, wait, is it lifting? No, we, uh, we now have a boat. Uh, we have a boat. Come on. Come on, I wonder if I can rock this thing. Eventually, this is going to work. Uh, maybe this isn't going to work. All right, come on. Come on. Come on. The fish are probably really confused right now. All right, I'm going to try something a little bit different here. We're going to we're gonna kind of not lift all the way up, and we're going to try to hover it here. Come on. Look how far we've made it. This is a really good... I mean, this is a pretty good boat for me, but... Yeah, I can't, I can't get this off the ground, and I know you can't get it up because I've seen the workshop picture, and I've, I've went back and read the description, and it didn't say if this was an issue or not. Of course, uh, uh yeah, Komodo flying is not very good. You know what? You know, just, just cut it off. Pack it up. Go home. Oh, boy. Well, I must say, this is still an extremely cool creation, but, uh, Komodo cannot figure out how to get this actually in the air. Uh, but like I said... It does get in the air because I've seen pictures of it. So, yeah, maybe I'm just a bad pilot. All right, folks, so I have a confession to make. I might not be that good of a pilot. I can't really fly planes. But what I can do, I can fly helicopters any day. And we have a Chinook, and I must say this thing is a beauty. Now, I really, really wish I had this in career mode because... Could you imagine? How many people does this actually fit? I'm pretty sure there's a cargo area in this too. Oh yeah, look at that. So you got eight seats in here, plus you have a cargo area where you can carry maybe some of the mission items. Or heck, maybe if we had like a jet ski or something, you could put that in there too. That is sweet looking. And Oh, is this to the yeah, cargo doors here? Oh yeah. Yeah, I got this. Alright, ooh, there's a lot of buttons in this. Uh, is this the other door? Oh, let's take one more look at the outside of this. That is so sweet looking. Uh, I'd love to ride in one of these. Uh, that would be cool. Or civilians, uh, do they give rides in these anywheres? Uh, that would be sweet. All right, let's uh, climb up here. Let's uh, go over the controls. And oh, this is a nice cockpit. I like the uh, the bubble glass down here. That way you can see out of it. Uh, let's see, we've got detach cargo. Okay, so we can control all the cargo from in here. Keep altitude, auto hover. Isn't that the same thing? Maybe not. Okay, where's the engine switches? Okay, so we got lights. Uh, front. Oh, it's got hooks on the front, too? Oh, that's cool. Okay, engines and release brakes. Let's go ahead. Fire these up. What's this look like? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Alright, so we got our lights on. Uh, hooks, engines. What if we release the brakes right now? I don't know. It's kind of... I don't know if that really did anything. Alright, so let's go ahead and stick it into auto hover mode. Uh, this seems to be good for helicopters, and we're going to need to pick up a little bit of... There we go, a little bit of altitude here. Uh, we are almost, almost out of this. We're going to make it. Oh, oh, this is a... Oh, uh, we're getting a little close to that left side there. That, those, uh, those doors. Oh, boy, don't hit it. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. All right, we're good. Good, all right, let's lift. All right, oh, okay, I can't see. Here we go. We are in the air. See, I told you guys I can fly something. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Now, the question is, how much does, like, these auto hover and the keep altitude, what a, what difference does that make? What if I turn that off? Uh, okay, it's auto hover now. Oh, that is stable. Wow. Now, the question is, what happens if we, uh, we up the ante here? Let's go ahead and go to, uh, override the weather here. Let's make it windy. 
You know, I don't know how much of an effect the wind actually has on the aircraft. I always say it does because it makes a really, like, big ruckus, but I can't actually tell if it actually is doing anything. All right, let's, uh, let's give this a little flight. Uh, feels pretty good here so far. I love the uh, the wave effects in Stormworks. That's like one of the best things. When you get in a big ship and you're just cutting through the waves, uh, that is an awesome feeling. And, oh, this is nice. Okay, so now question is, is there is the cargo boat, has that spawned in in creative? I want to say maybe it's going to be here somewhere. So i kind of like to go land on that or something. Oh, this thing is so awesome. One thing I have noticed, uh, whenever you turn uh, like left and right, it feels like there's some sort of thruster or something's actually pushing the rear end to the left and to the right. Uh, it's kind of an odd feeling. I actually like it though. It gives you really, really precise control over this helicopter. And question is, that is not the biggest landing pad there at the, uh, the oil rig. Uh, let's go and turn on auto hover here, get that engaged. What if we could land on that? I didn't see the cargo ship. I was looking for that initially and I don't see it anywhere. So I'm kind of hoping that it spawned. Because that would be fun to mess with, but I don't think it has. Uh, at least not in the immediate area. So let's go ahead and see if we can get ourselves down. I need to turn this auto hover back off. Actually, we need to turn the keep uh, altitude back off too. So yeah, uh, also I wanted to ask you guys, do you guys want to see... I'm sure you do want to see some more career mode. I need to jump back into it because it kind of had some updates again. Uh, that's something I'm wanting to jump into again uh, very soon. But I'm kind of doing some testing here vehicle-wise. Because eventually, I would like to tr attempt to build some of this. And, oh, this is not... Is the wind screwing us up here, or am I screwing us up? Hold on, let's, uh, let's turn that back on. That is our security blanket right there, that auto hover. Alright, we are coming in for that landing. This is a small pad, but I think... I think we just fit on this. Alright, let's go down a little bit. Uh, a little forward, a little down. Come on, Komodo, you got this. You can land this. Uh, okay, let's go down, down, and... I don't know how we're going to get out of it, but there we go. We've touched down. Let's go ahead and shut her off. Uh, let's go... Actually, I think that's brakes on. Okay, let's turn that off. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. All right, let's get out of this real quick. Uh, we just walk out? Okay, we can just go out the back. Let's use the cargo door real quick. <laughs> Where does that, uh, where does the car go? Oh. Oh, dear. Uh-oh, are we ro- Oh, I thought we were rolling. It's just the door going down. Okay. Up out- No! <laughs> well, I was gonna admire my parking job there, but, uh, I screwed that up. That is awesome. Uh, that's a really, really fun creation. You know, I'm not always opposed to, if I get the money and the parts in career mode, actually just, uh, downloading something off the workshop and then buying it in career mode. So I might do something like that. I think uh, helicopter-wise, I'm pretty happy, but I would not mind at all having that Chinook in my fleet in career mode. All right, we are back with our next creation. We have these, uh, it's called the Barracuda 1 and the 2. I'm assuming we want to do the 2. I believe this is a like a little mini sub. So this is going to let us actually test out uh, the new feature of being able to go down underwater and not be completely submerged in the cockpit. So, spawn that... Where did, oh, there it is. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. It's like the little yellow submarine, except for it's got wings. Now, question is, why does it have wings? I don't know. Uh, oh, did I just screw that up? Can I get up on top of this? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, this is cool. All right. A very, very nice looking craft. It just fell in the water again. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming this is a hatch here. So, normally there would be water in this thing, in the old versions of this game. So, we go with that, and look at that. Dry... Completely dry. That is awesome. You know, I'm kind of curious. Can we test maybe leaving this open at some point? We might do that here in a second. Let's uh, look at this. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this will actually give us a really good view of the uh, the wildlife and the fish and all that stuff that they've... Oh, there's a... Wait, is that an octopus? That's cool. All right, so... um, Key button. Uh, toggle button, toggle button. You know, this has probably got some instructions on the workshop itself. Uh, they're not labeled, so I'm assuming key button fires us up. Backlights, turn those on. It might be a little dark here in the water. Um, what do we do there? I don't know what that did. Uh, you know, let's just toggle all the buttons real quick. 
That's the way to do it. Just toggle everything and then... Oh, okay. Flood ballast. Uh... Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is fast. Hold on. Alright, let's get out of the... Let's get out of the dock here. What is... What is going on? Let's, uh, tab out. What the heck? Or why are we permanently over to the side? Did I click the wrong button? Oh. Okay. Oh, we are doing circles right now. Let me figure this out. You know what? Let's, uh, let's restart here. Let's turn these all off. One of those was a light. I actually like the light one. I'm gonna turn those off. Is this to make us go up and down? Oh, it's the floodlight. Oh, we can control that. Okay, cool. Alright, so how does this thing drive now? Uh, is it still... And it goes backwards really good. There we go. I don't know what was uh, causing it to screw up there and just kind of do circles. Now, there's got to be a way to dive here. At least I think on this one. Maybe there isn't. Uh, let's try... Oh, there we go. Oh, we're diving. Oh, that is too cool. You know, that floodlight's actually a little bright. Whoops, what, what was the floodlight? That's the backlight. Uh, floodlight, floodlight. Uh, maybe this one? There we go. That was the floodlight. All right, let's go under. Oh, what happens when we go uh, into this camera? Oh, this is so sweet. Yeah, this is something I was really wanting to do in this game. Uh, it just really wasn't possible, the whole fact that I didn't have the... The floor was just bare. And now we have plants. You can see all the fishes. You know, I wonder if there's any secrets in this game. I wonder if there's like any mega sharks or whales or something in the game. That would be really cool. Man, this is really, really peaceful. I like this a lot. It's, uh, it's always cool being... I like games where you're, you know, on a boat in the middle of the ocean. That's why I kind of like some of those silly uh, simulator games. But this is cool because we are under the water here. The question is, okay, let's, uh, we're actually tilting a little bit. Can I, how do I correct that? Let's go ahead and go back up here. Uh, let's get out of the water. There we go. What we're going to do, question is, how effective is that floodlight? Let's go, let's turn this to night real quick. What is it like? Oh, whoops. Okay, so this is what it's like at night. Ooh, this is kind of creepy. Uh, I kind of wish I knew what some of these buttons did. I really need to look that up. Okay, so let's turn on our uh, floodlight. Was it that? Oh. So let's, uh, let's adjust it a little bit. Okay, so that makes it go all the way. No, let's go. So it's Q and E. Let's raise it up. That's probably appropriate there. Okay. Let's see what we can see at night underwater. This is really dark. Okay, I can s I'm starting to see the ocean floor. Uh, this is slightly creepy. This is awesome, though. Oh, yeah. Nope, still haven't found any creatures of the night so far. It's kind of hoping to see something creepy down here. Oh, that's a, oh, is that an eel? I think we just passed by an eel. It's the first time I've seen one of those. Ah, it's really neat being able to do that. And that, uh, that floodlight works pretty good. So let's go ahead, level this back out. And let's turn the, uh, let's turn the lights back on. I just wanted to see what that looked like. Let's go lights back on. Okay, now question is... Can we flood this thing? So if I, can I pin it underwater to where it doesn't come back up? Like say, can we like park it down here? I'm pretty sure one of these might actually park it. I think we're pretty far on the bottom here. Okay, I'm gonna get out of the seat. What happens when, when we go, uh, wait, where's our button? Wait, can we not hit the button? Oh, there it is. All right, here we go. Release the, oh! <laughs> Oh, that works! Okay, oh, oh, now we're full of water. Uh oh, I'm getting sucked. Oh, wow, I just basically almost got sucked out of the door here. That's cool. That, okay, so that, that proves that that actually works in the game. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, there goes our little, uh, little sub here. Hopefully you don't get eaten by something. Now, I'm kind of curious if they're going to start adding maybe like scuba packs and stuff like that soon. That would be, uh, pretty awesome. Maybe you have to go underwater and get some, uh, sort of lost wreckage or something. Anyways, I think uh, it's time to move on to the next creation. Alright, so the next boat we're going to check out is by Mr. Blob. This is a guy from my Discord. He has been wanting me to check this out for a while now. And he's been building this. I think it said it took him like 20 hours. It's called the Independent Class. Uh, this is... Wow, this is like a stealth boat. Is that a gun on it? I believe it is. Looks like it's got a little helipad on it. Oh, this is going to be cool. Let's go ahead and spawn this in. Let's, uh, let's check this thing out. So it's got the uh, it's got the landing pad on here. I kind of want to... Wait, what is this? Oh, it looks like a... Is that a little hook there? I believe it is. So yeah, it's got a, it's got a landing pad. So if you want to land your helicopter on there. Uh, there's the cockpit lift. What's this go to? Oh, same thing. Oh yeah, we could store some people in here. Do we have any, uh, any lights? Oh! 
Oh, that's a lift that actually, I'm assuming the cockpit's above us. Okay, what's uh, engine bay? Uh, looks like we got our engine down here. We can actually start it from down here. Hold on. Uh, do that. Whoa, whoa. All right, we fired the engines. I hope we're not moving right now. <laughs> that would be a shame if we are. Uh, let's get up to the top side real quick and see what the cockpit looks like. Oh, this is a command center. Uh, do we have any lights in here? That's the only problem I'm seeing. I'd like to see some lights. Uh, let's see. Which ones? I'm assuming this is the pilot here. That's eh, uh, Let's just click buttons. One of these is going to make us go. All right, let's start, uh, start going backwards here. Oh. Oh boy. Uh, okay, let's uh let's not do that. There we go. Oh, ooh, buddy. I think this is actually I need to look at the workshop description one more time. I believe that might be the uh, the cruise control there. So you can actually set your speed and so I guess you could actually just walk around after you uh, set it and that would be kind of cool just to be on the boat as it's moving and walking around on the deck. Uh, let's go take this thing out for a spin. All right, I must say this is a Pretty good looking boat. I like this a lot. Uh, kind of putting it through its paces here. Uh, I did look at the workshop description and I didn't see anything about the buttons, uh, but I'm assuming this is what that is. So, okay, I'm gonna hold it wide open here. What happens if we start clicking this? Is that still increasing speed? Uh, what about this? Uh, oh, oh. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, it's maintaining speed now, so can I bump it up here? Uh, that kind of bogs it out. No, that's that's picking it up a little bit. Oh, what about 14? What if we go back this way? All right, so that is cruise control. Okay, so it seems like we have the engines maxed out here at about 14. I'm assuming it's not. Uh, what's this button here? Okay, so that kills it. Okay, this is neat. It's kind of cool that somebody's actually implemented this in the game. So we got a cruise control, so uh, let's see, make sure this is all the way active. So let's go ahead and bump that all the way up. There we go. 14 is about our limit. So in theory, I can go boop, stand up, and we can freely walk around here. There's some other uh, instrumentation up here. Uh, I'm not really sure what all that does. Uh, this is something, oh, this is the gunner. Oh, I can set in this? Hold on. Oh, look at that. I can move the gunner. Oh, that's cool, and it's got a shoot button. Um, one is shoot. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, oh, oh, there's a little light in there. Okay, I get it. Uh, that would be kind of cool. I don't know why you would need guns in Stormworks, but that could be uh, something in the future. Let's go and walk out of here. I want to actually just walk around on this, so let's go out down here, and let's go back out on deck. Uh-oh, we found land. Uh-oh, wait, when did I release that? <laughs> Oh, the winch is uh, loose. Uh, yep, land is coming. Oh, boy. Actually, that's pretty steep. I think we'll just bounce off of this. Uh, I think. Uh, uh, here comes the land. Runaway boat. We've got a runaway. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. I think we're falling. Oh. Well, I think the boat's actually okay. I think it's propped up. Yeah, that boat's not going anywhere. Huh. Guess I'm lucky it didn't come back down and hit me in the face. All right. That is very cool. I want to thank Mr. Blob for sending that over, and I think we're ready to go on to the next creation. All right. So we've piloted a stealth boat. We've been in the air. We've been underwater. We've done it all this episode, except for there's one more creation I want to check out. It's called the Imperial TD-64. Uh, this thing just caught my eye on the workshop. Uh, this looks like a very practical rescue boat. I love the look of that. That is so detailed. All right, let's go ahead, spawn this bad boy in, and see what it looks like. Oh! Oh, wow. It's actually a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. All right, so let's jump down here. All right, so we are on deck here. It's amazing that these are uh, these are player-created things. Like, you figure this would actually be in the game. Uh, what do we got here? Cable in. So it's got tow cables back here oh yeah you would definitely be able to tow that cargo ship with this probably hook both of these in uh, does it have a central one here what's this toggle button uh, that looks like an extra connector here yeah this is a connector so it seems like maybe if the other ship has a tow cable you can hook it into here that's cool 
Uh, let's see. What are these buttons? Uh, oh, we got work lights back here too. Oh, got another thing. I, I just thought of another thing. Let's uh, let's go uh, crab fishing. That'd be cool too. Uh, oh, that's a bright light. Okay, let's go ahead and put that back. All right. Uh, what's this? Uh, just handle. Uh, let's go inside and check this out. Oh yeah, this is gonna be loaded down, isn't it? Uh, that is below deck. Okay. And of course, we are going below the water line. This used to be an issue once again, and it is not filling in this uh, cabin here. And this is actually the engine room, at least it appears to be. All right, so that's where the engine is. What's the other side? I'm assuming maybe even more engines, or is there... Oh, maybe there isn't another side. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this open here. This looks like crew quarters. Go to sleep. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, here's some more crew quarters. Oh, this is detailed. Look at that. Stove. We got a sink here. Uh, we can cook. Yeah, this is a very, very fine attention to detail. Oh, what's this over here? Uh, more crew quarters. Uh, I'm looking for the... Where's the port john at? Where's the bathroom? This might be the second deck. Oh, there it is! port john I knew I'd find it. Hey, it's got a shower, too. And a light. Ah, it's the fine details. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, here we go. Here's the captain's quarters. Or, I shouldn't say quarters. This is where the captain's, uh, deck. This is where we're gonna... We're gonna do all this. Wow, there's a lot of pilot seats up here. There's a lot of buttons on this, too. Let's open this up. Can we walk around to the front? Uh, looks like we have uh, one more tow cable up at the front here. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. All right, let's uh, start clicking buttons. That's my favorite thing to do in the game. So, searchlight, so you can control that. I'm assuming these are actually, uh, let's see, the searchlight over on the left side, that's probably, you can control it from that pilot seat. So if there ever was multiplayer, which that would be absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can have somebody doing the searchlight, maybe you're doing a night rescue. Uh, over here, that is a, uh, oh, like a little Morse code lamp. That's cool. Alright, so we got key buttons here. I'm assuming these are going to fire up all the engines. Let's go fire up there. Okay, fire that bad boy up. It's the running lights. Go ahead and turn those on. Deck lights. Let's go ahead and turn on all the lights. Uh, that was the searchlight. Alright. Well, here we go. I'm just going to pile it out. This thing's got a good bit of uh, power, actually. Oh, yes. I want this. I want this in career mode. Oh, this would have helped us last episode. We had a lot of trouble uh, with my own craft trying to get the uh, the big cargo ship up. This is amazing. Uh, what makes these boat rides even more amazing is when you kick up that wind, though. Let's go ahead and kick that up. Nope, did it not go? There's the wind. All right, let's go full-on hurricane here, and we're going to fight with the waves. Oh, yeah. This is like the best part of the game here. Uh, when you get it in really bad conditions and you have a big boat like this, it's actually kind of fun to get around and walk around on deck uh, when you're going through and cutting through these waves. Now, the thing is now, the compartments, I'm assuming, they can all get flooded. So, if we were to, like, tip over capsize, this thing would probably actually go to the bottom of the ocean. The other, uh, the updates before, it would kind of tip over and it would just kind of float there. But I do not believe that would be the case here with this ship. This is too cool. You know, it's only going to get more crazy, folks. As soon as this game actually gets its full release, or even its early access release to everybody, uh, the workshop, people are going to be creating probably just insane stuff, pushing the boundaries of the game. They already do it now. I really wish I could sit down. I, I kind of do it a little bit. I tinker off camera and see if I can kind of create something big like this. Uh, but the way the people are, or at least the amount of time it takes to do a lot of these, uh, it is a... It's a big thing. It's not something where you sit down one afternoon and create something like this. I, I can imagine this probably took at least 15 plus hours, if not more. I could be completely wrong about that. Uh, yeah, the creators in uh, Stormworks, uh, they're all amazing. Uh, definitely go check out all these creations in the workshop. Uh, I'll have them all linked down in the description, so if you want to play with anything you've seen here on this episode, definitely do that. I'm trying to see if we can get this to tip over real quick. I would like to experience a actual uh, sinking ship in the game, so let's see if we can... Uh, come on. I I'm working on it. Uh, it doesn't seem like we have... We have the weather set to the max. We do. We're not getting those colossal waves. It does seem like they might have calmed the waves down a little bit uh, from the previous builds. Whoa! 
You know what? I've come to the conclusion. I've been kind of going around for the past about five minutes attempting to get this thing to get hit sideways on one of these uh, one of these waves, and this uh, boat is absolutely incredible. It is not tipping. Like, I cannot get it to go over. I thought maybe we'd do that to end it here. I might just need to throw myself overboard because uh, I'm not worthy to be uh, piloting this anymore. We're just going to stop that there. But anyways, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Stormworks. We will return with more career mode here soon. I'll kind of balance it back and forth and try to keep up with the updates. But, like I said, if you want to download this, this is available on Steam right now. The uh, beta is to everyone. You don't have to go sign up. The only thing you have to do is click a button, and you have the game right now. Uh, so we'll see how long that lasts. But anyways, hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to jump into the sea here, and we will see you guys next time. Oh, this is bad. Next time on Stormworks.